Hello and welcome. Now, there is a double test obligation for passengers traveling from Ghana to the Netherlands. The PCR test as well as the antigen test. The rapid test must be taken no more than four hours before departure. Now, this is in addition to the existing obligation to perform a PCR test seven to two hours before you depart. I start with the Managing Director for KLM Ghanam, Dick Van Nguyenzen, on this developing story, plus other related issues in the aviation sector. Somewhere last week, we heard this news about, you know, proposed speculation, if that could be, about KLM suspending some particular flights, if not to Ghana, some specific countries as well. We also heard about Netherlands, you know, imposing temporary travel bans on specific countries. Regarding the long-haul flights, we do know that currently this has been suspended. You're now going long-haul flights. It hasn't been suspended in that nature. But yet again, Ghanaian travelers are concerned about the additional pre-flight you know, flight protocols they would have to adhere to in order to embark on your airline. Can you explain to us what particular additional measures are you putting in place? Yeah, it is uh, last week, Tuesday, the Dutch government announced uh, a travel ban uh, as per uh, starting as Friday evening at 12 o'clock. Mm. There is an, a travel ban and, uh, between the UK and the Netherlands. Uh, you're talking about air. Sure. Uh, South America, the Netherlands, and South Africa, and the Netherlands. Uh, another uh, measure which they have imposed was that every passenger entering the, the Netherlands or transiting via the Netherlands needed a second test, a mm. second antigen test. Now, that implemented that all passengers boarding here our flights going to Amsterdam or via Amsterdam to final destination, uh, they will need a COVID-19 test, a negative COVID-19 test not older than 72 hours, and they need an antigen test, which is not allowed to be older than four hours before departure. Now, that created some impact. Mm. We heard the news uh, Tuesday evening on the press conference of our Prime Minister, and uh, it was also meant that all crew of KLM would be tested also. And then KLM started to object. Because if you test all crew, it can be that one of the crew members will be tested positive. Now, if that is the case, the crew member is not allowed to join the flight back to Amsterdam. And he or she should stay home. Now, that was, not, uh, that was not allowed or not practically not used because that means the crew will leave and just one crew member will stay behind. But that's basic, you know, COVID-19 protocols that, I mean, these are unusual times. Yeah, correct. But there are other facilities. Uh, so what, they, what has been decided now that the crew will be tested upon arrival, not before departure, but upon arrival. So the crew will still be tested for COVID. And the passengers need to do a second antigen test before boarding the aircraft. Now, that all was decided on, uh, on Tuesday evening. So we had uh, very little time. Mm -hmm. uh, there was at one side, there was the whole story, uh, would we operate long haul, would we not operate? The decision or the change in the regulation that crew can be tested upon arrival was mm -hmm. only taken last Saturday. So there was a lot of... Yeah, miscommunication, a lot of speculation, would we travel, would we not travel? I have to say, if you look at the Dutch press, they immediately issued press statements that KLM will cancel flights and that we will not operate, now, which was not correct because mm -hmm. the decision has never been taken. There was a threat that if the measures for the crew will be there, that we will stop operating long-haul flights. But uh, the decision to stop operating was never been taken. Now, we were able here during this weekend to set up testing facilities. We have, in fact, we have two testing facilities. We have the Aikai clinic in Oslo, where you can do an, uh, an uh, antigen test. And uh, we have a testing street at the airport at parking lot number four. So four, four hours before boarding the aircraft, you have to do your antigen test. And that is now possible. Mm. We had uh, Sunday our first flight with the new rules and regulations. And we were able to carry on 160 passengers. And we only refused three passengers because of no COVID test, of no, uh, no antigen test. So it is working and we are back in business again. So, so far you have, you know, declined uh, three, rejected three passengers yeah. from Ghana. Yeah. 
Why? Because they did not take the antigen test. They didn't have the antigen But test. How, 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 how much does it cost to have this antigen chest, uh, test at Akai? Because our figures tell us close to 850 Ghana cities for the test. At the airport it cost $150. Uh, Akai is charging at this moment less, but I know uh, there will be a meeting today between uh, the testing company at the airport and a Kai clinic to find an, uh, a fair level of, uh, of testing price. So A50 was on the high side? Uh, at the airport they charge $150. Hmm. But help us understand because there are also concerns that these, this second layer form yeah. of COVID testing yeah. could even placing much more pressure on the Ghanaian traveler out there. Is this something you're replicating just in Ghana or across other countries? No, the, well? the antigen testing for KLM flights only, not Air France, not the other airlines, but okay. it is only KLM, is applicable worldwide. The, I know there are a few exceptions, but in principle it is applicable for all passengers boarding a KLM flight or going to Amsterdam or transited via Amsterdam will need the antigen test. It is not something which is specifically for Ghana, but it is for all passengers worldwide. I went through the health directory of uh, the Dutch government where yeah. you stated specific safe countries where yeah. you know, issues regarding COVID-19 rigorous testing and whatnot will be determined based on the safety of these countries. Here in Ghana, we're experiencing a second wave yeah. and we have even discovered a new variant to COVID-19, yeah. similar yeah. to that of South Africa. Correct. Is that going to be informing your next decision moving forward? Uh, Ghana is by the Dutch government. It has nothing to do with KLM. Eh? It is the Dutch government is deciding which country is safe, which country is not safe. Ghana is being considered as an, an, a not safe country. So for the antigen test and the COVID-19 test, the PCR test, both applies for passengers boarding a KLM aircraft in Ghana. Now, that it is, if, if we look at all policies in, in Europe, eh, because each and every country is applying their own policy, it, mm. is, it is a patchwork of different measures and regulations. And I can understand that it is for the average passenger really a hassle to figure out which documents you need, which test you need and what you have to do. Because, for example, if you look at transit visas, since the UK is out of the EU, Brexit, uh, passengers going via Amsterdam or going via Europe to the UK, mm. they will need all of a sudden a transit visa. Mm. Now that is also recently new eh, because we started that at the 1st of January. So I can understand that the passengers have a lot of problems in determining what you need and what you don't need. I will therefore advise all passengers to check at the websites of mm. each and every airline. KLM is planning to send out again uh, today a mailer to all our passengers and contacts exactly what the latest rules and regulations are and what is involved and what is not involved and what is needed. Mm. Let's talk about the KLM crew because yeah. um, I read this journal from Singapore where one of the crew members got arrested yeah. because yeah. he defied COVID protocols. Everything regarding um, adherence to protocols rests on your shoulders. Yes, you're clear to come. You know, your crew members clear to come Correct. amid COVID issues. But what exactly are you doing to ensure that crew members stick to COVID-19 protocols moving forward, especially with the Ghana story? Yeah. The crew members are not tested upon arrival. There's an exemption, uh, like, for example, diplomats. Uh, they will go to the hotel and they have there they have hotel arrest. So they are not allowed to leave the hotel premises. They will arrive at 10 o'clock or at 8 o'clock in the evening. They will depart the next day 10 o'clock, so they're 22 hours in the, in the country. And they are not leaving the hotel premises. But this protocol is there. Yet we had the story from Singapore about one of the crew members. Uh, Singapore was a different premises. story. Yeah? Singapore, uh, we had that here in Accra also, where the crew had a room arrest. They had to stay in their room. They were not allowed to leave the room. In Singapore, one of the crew went, left her room and went to the check-in counter, what I've understood, and was therefore arrested. Now, the, in Ghana? In Singapore. Okay. And in Ghana, they don't have to stay at their room. They are allowed to go to the, to the, to the breakfast room and to, sit, to, to stay at the pool. They are not allowed to leave the hotel. Mm. How much of a difference air travel has been for KLM amid COVID-19, with Ghana being the perspective? What has changed? A lot has changed. Eh? If you see, uh, we reduce frequencies. KLM is at this moment, uh, instead of seven flights a week, we fly six times a week. 
Air France instead of seven times a week, we fly four times a week. Uh, there was once there was a remark made in the Netherlands that flying is getting back to the elite because it is getting costly. All those tests, uh, the, 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 if you want to come to Ghana, you need a negative PCR test, you have to do an antigen test. If you want to leave Ghana, you have to do a PCR test, you have to do an antigen test. It is getting expensive. It mm. is getting expensive and you can, I cannot compensate the cost of all these, these tests in my ticket price because then there is nothing left over. So I can understand that people are saying, from, sorry, it is getting too expensive to travel. Mm. And what is also happening, there are a lot of bans. Still, uh, African passengers are not allowed to enter the EU. So there are a lot of restrictions for passengers to travel. And that is, yeah, that is hampering uh, business and it is hampering uh, your social context and visiting your friends or relatives abroad. Uh, it is no fun anymore. Mm. But we have no choice. This we have no choice. You can think you can better now take tough decisions uh, and, then, and then sit out the time you have those decisions. We have the vaccines coming in. Uh, so there is light at the end of the tunnel. But you can ask yourself the question, where is the end of the tunnel? Is that this year? Is that next year? Is it this summer? Uh, you saw last year, as from the summer in Europe, the figures were going down. Uh, the, the rules and regulations were being eased up and in September we had the second wave. Mm. Now, we have at this moment, we have the, the, the old-fashioned COVID, if you can say it like that, but you have now also the South African type, you have the British type, the UK type. There are a lot of extra different uh, factors coming in. Mm. And, and at this moment I see things going worse. It's not coming better, but it's going worse. Mm. But for how long? Because the vaccines have arrived and we start to, to, to vaccinate the, the people. And we have to sit it out till the vaccinations have been, been, been done. So when everything comes to show, I want us to understand the culture, the recent culture of travel under COVID-19. You earlier on stated that about three uh, passengers from Ghana were you know, denied access. Why? Because they failed to have the antigen test. Yeah. Are we going to be expecting more of these rejections in the future? Uh, we don't need to have the rejections, but the point is passengers should be aware of what is needed and what is not needed. But are they aware? They should be aware because you can check the website of each airline. Uh, you can read the news what is happening and not happening. And if you come at the airport in time, there is time to get your, your antigen test because there is a test treat at the airport. If you come in very late before departure, then there is simply no more time. Yesterday we refused three passengers, but we left with one hour delay just to accommodate the rest of the passengers. So what I expect is that we will not refuse any passengers because of no test, but I will foresee a lot of delays in our flights. But mm. try to, to imagine that you have four hours before departure and you have to test 200 passengers. Now that is, that is really putting stress and pressure on the system. Now, then you can say, will I leave on time and leave passengers behind, or will I delay my flight and accept more passengers? And we shall have more on this interaction with the KLM boss in our subsequent bulletin. But you still watch the marketplace. We're taking a short break for more business stories this day.